Last week, we started this series by talking about the light of the world, Jesus. Anyone who believes in Jesus can follow his light to find freedom from the darkness, from sin, and everyone who finds Jesus will receive the light of Christ themselves. The more time we spend with Jesus, the brighter our light will become. But what do we do with that light once we have it? Jesus spoke directly to that question in his first sermon. As you might guess, Jesus wants us to let our light shine so that others can find the light of Christ for themselves. It says in Matthew 5, 13 to 16, You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. The light of Jesus isn't something to be set aside at home during the week. It's not something we dust off on Sunday mornings to bring to church, only to be returned to a shelf when we get home. Jesus says we need to let our light shine so that the world can follow our light and receive the light of Jesus for themselves. The light of Jesus is a light the whole world needs. It should not be hidden or left at home. It needs to shine in our lives every day so that others can find that light for themselves. Let's ask God to make our light shine bright and give us the courage to share it with a world that needs the light of Jesus to glow. Let's pray. Dear God, let your light shine brightly in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.